Welcome bookworms to Nikki Loves Books. I'm Nikki and today we do have the Bookish Box unboxing for March 2022. Obviously it is May so this box was very very late. If you guys have been following my channel this is actually my first Bookish Box unboxing. I was subscribed to the Bookish Box years ago Due to finances, I had to pick either Bookish Box or Owlcrate. I did stick with Owlcrate. I enjoyed their merchandise a lot more in their book picks. But my husband has decided to gift me a year of the Bookish Box subscription. So we have our first box. As we can see, it's a little, it's a little dinged up. But I'm hoping that there's no damage to anything inside. As an update for Nikki Loves Books, I did want to let you all know that book reviews and book recaps are coming. I'm hoping to have a book review out by next week. I'm sorry for being a little MIA and behind on a lot of my stuff. If you guys have been following and seen my previous videos, one of my cats did die. But since then, we've also gotten a kitten and... I don't know about you guys, but watching a kitten is like a full-time job. He gets into everything. He's super cute. Unfortunately, the shelter did not test him for parasites, and he has one, and he gave it to our other cats. Now we're treating both cats for parasites, and it's a whole ordeal. But just know I'm here. I'm working on it. And let's go ahead and dive into the Bookish Box March 2022 unboxing. So first things first, we do have the Bookish Box March 2022 newsletter. It also includes everything that's in the box. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at it. A little bit about Bookish Box is they do have a young adult and adult box to select from. I did the young adult box. Um, it looks like the adult box has been sold out for some time. Um... I debated whether I wanted to get that one since Owlcrate is young adult focus. But then I figured if I signed up for the adult box from Bookish Box, I would still want the young adult bookish. And it just ends up being expensive. Like, just not going to lie. I do not have the finances to pay for that many boxes at this point. But you can do a few options when you do sign up. You can do book only, book and goodies, shirt and goodies, and book, shirt, and goodies. I chose to do book and goodies only. I had in the past done their book, shirt, and goodies years ago, and the shirts are adorable, but I don't wear t-shirts all that much. Like if they had other options of like v-neck or tank top, I would totally do it. But as of right now with just regular t-shirts, not my jive. So the March 2022 bookish box theme is bookish baddies. I think this is actually why I wanted to get the bookish boxes. I saw this theme being announced and I was like, I want, I want, I want. So the first item we have is Hades and Persephone jewelry hook wall serpent. Very neat, very helpful. I'm really digging the details on this. And if you guys can hear little noises in the background, that is my kitten. That is Merlin getting up to everything. King of the Underworld, Hades, inspired with some Persephone details added to it, completed the stunning serpent jewelry hook. At Justine Bookish designed this to keep your necklace and bracelets tangle free and on display. Next up, we have this Kingdom of Ruin necklace. I'm really digging that raven. Here is that without that glare on the outside and Merlin is literally trying to jump up and getting the dangle part of the necklace right now. 
Can we all agree that this necklace turned out absolutely beautiful? At Bookish Pinout created the design for this Kingdom of Ruins by Audrey Gray inspired necklace featuring a rose gold raven with the moon cycles. I really, I like that detail of the moon cycles. I think that's very cool. I have not read Kingdom of Ruins. If you have read Kingdom of Ruins... I would love to know your thoughts and if you liked it or not, because I am very intrigued by this necklace now and want to read the book. Next up, we have this box that claims it is a book display. So let's go ahead and open it. And here is this very beautiful book display. It was already assembled. You just have to fold it to the dimensions you want. One of our favorite things about special editions is how they are an instant decoration in your bookish home. Whether you keep your new special edition on your bookshelf, your nightstand, or on your coffee table, it is a must display your book like the work of art it is. The stunning book display Stand designed by at Sarah Ripteen is an item we have never included in our boxes or shops. Use this stand to display your favorite book that features your most beloved morally gray character. Before we continue on with what's in the rest of our box and get to my favorite part, the book, I did want to remind you all to please subscribe. I'm going to continue doing my Owl Crate unboxings the day I get the box, usually the moment I get the box, as well as my Bookish Box unboxing. But I also do book reviews and book recaps. I'm really excited to announce that my next book review will be coming out next week, and I should have a book recap later on this month, as well, of course, as our Owl Crate unboxing. So I hope you all join me. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Next, we have a bag that says bookmark weaponry. I'm going to assume it is a bookmark. And I was right. This is super, super cool. Oh my God, this is so pretty and so detailed and so thin. It's a beautiful bookmark. Getting this made this box totally worth it. Not going to lie. I, I'm so in love with this. It's not even funny. The next dagger in our exclusive favorite fictional daggers and swords metal bookmark collection designed by at Cass Berry. This month we featured... Wrath's Dagger from the Kingdom of the Wicked series. We love that these bookmarks are easily transformed into a prop for your bookstagram photos. I have not read Kingdom of the Wicked series either, so I think I'm going to make sure that that's on my to-read list, as always, my ever-growing to-read list. Totally worth though. Next up, we have a candle, which I'm always down for, so this is an Aries candle. The third candle in our new Luminary Zodiac candle collection. This Aries candle label has artwork by at Avondale Art featuring Alosa Callaghan from The Daughter of the Pirate King. I have read that book. Enjoy scents of blood orange and brown sugar. Oh, yes. Please. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus on this. There we go. There is a better look at that beautiful artwork. We're going to go ahead and smell this. And I am happy to report it smells wonderful. I'm very excited to use this. So the book of the month for our bookish baddies, March 2022 bookish box is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. So if you guys have seen my Owlcrate videos, you should know that this is actually a repeat. 
So Owlcrate also had this book, I think probably back in March when it released. But this is a different edition. So it is a bookish box exclusive. It has different artwork than the Owlcrate does. Let us actually compare. So different artwork. Different sprayed edges. But yeah, I've already read it. I'm actually hoping to have my book review for Only a Monster by Vanessa Len out this month. We shall see. But let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful bookish box edition of Only a Monster. So a little description is with the sweeping romance of Passenger and the dark fantasy edge of this savage song. This standout young adult contemporary fantasy debut from Vanessa Lynn is the first in a trilogy. So this bookish box edition of Only a Monster does have an exclusive cover, as we already found out. As well as the beautiful spade purple edges. Signed edition. As well as a note from the author. And then we do have... An exclusive foiled hard case stamp. Custom end papers. As well as reverse dust jacket art. All of those, so the reverse dust jacket art, the custom end papers, the exclusive foiled hard case, all were done by at catcat.to. That is it for the items in our bookish box, but of course, there is more. So in the bookish box newsletter, they do include the theme and items in the adult box of the month. So that was, again, the adult box for March 2022, which the theme was written in the stars. There's also interviews with the authors of the books. So we have the author Vanessa Len of Only a Monster, which is the March young adult book. And then we have interview with Jesse Mihalik, which wrote Hunt the Stars, which was the March adult bookish box book. Looks like they also have a playlist, and I'm assuming it's Spotify, um, but there's a March playlist. They also include items um, that are featured in the bookish box shop online, with, of course, the exclusive items for members only. The very last thing we have is this beautiful print. Our April young adult theme art created by at Natalie Bernard Art. This print features Evangeline and Jack from Once Upon a Broken Heart. It includes the sneak peek into our April young adult box, which is the theme Secrets Cloaked in Shadows. So, the sneak peek is, it looks like that beautiful bookmark. So, the amount of love we have received for our fictional Daggers and Swords metal bookmark collection has been unreal, which makes us extra excited to share our April Young Adult Weapon bookmark will be Poppy's Dagger from the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Uh... We are obsessed with this series, and we can't wait to bring Poppy's Dagger to life for you all. The entire collection is designed by at Cass Berry, and we are blown away with each design. Uh, so pictured on the left is our February Young Adult Weapons bookmark fe featuring Alessandra's Dagger from The Shadows Between Us. You can... Utilize these bookmarks to mark your page or to add a splash of violence to your bookstagram pics. I hope that they have these bookmarks on sale on the shop because 
I did not get that one because I only subscribed in March. So I'm really excited to see if they'll have more of those. But regardless of me getting the same book as I did in Owl Crate, these items are totally worth me getting in the bookish box. Um, most likely what I will do with the book is donate it to my local library. I've considered maybe selling. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. I don't know if I should sell it or gift. You know, of course I can gift it to a friend, but I'm almost wondering if I should gift it to one of my patrons. What are you guys' thoughts? But thank you so much for being here. Um, this was the March 2022 bookish box with the theme bookish baddies. I hope all of you subscribe so that you can catch me next time with my book review coming out next week. And of course, please feel free to comment. I always try to get back to everyone. I love having comments and please like this video if you did like it. All right. Have a great day, everyone.